What's up, YouTube? Got something really cool to show today, and that is something new from Kaiser, and that is the Denim Micarta Series. This is brand new for late 2021. Um, I don't know when they plan on releasing other knives in this series, but I have a cool video I'm going to roll in at the end of my review and overview to show y'all that Kaiser has asked me to show, and it just kind of teases and previews what's to come. But anyways, on to the knife. Um, this is the Feist. It's a classic Kaiser design. It's been around for many years now. It's a great knife. It doesn't really need a review. Uh, so I'll just kind of give an overview. I'll give my thoughts, of course, on it, but there's many others out there that have also reviewed this knife. The main focus on this video is the new denim micarta, which I think looks pretty snazzy. Um... It's just a new thing for Kaiser, and I think it's going to work out very well for them. And before I go any further, I'll say this knife was provided to me by Kaiser. So we, ha of course, assume that it's probably a hand-picked, be the best quality control you can get. Anyways, um, it's a nice little knife. It's a 2.8-inch blade, 1.98 ounces. And it is smooth. It's on bearings. Has a skeletonized construction liner on the inside, so lightens the load a little bit. Liner lock. A little bit of jimping right here. A little bit of jimping up top. Uh, this knife is really nice. It's only a two screw construction. And that helps contribute to the lightweightness. Um, even though it's two screws, I mean, you get a little bit of play, but not a whole lot. I mean, it's really smooth. Uh, it feels fairly sturdy. Feels like Front flippers are a little bit awkward in my hands, I guess. I don't have huge hands, but I don't have teeny tiny baby hands either. But sometimes front flippers, and specifically little ones, can feel kind of weird in my hands. Just because I don't carry a lot of them. But once I get used to it, it, it flows a little bit better. But, uh... Yeah, it's a really nice knife. Um, it slices pretty good. I've used it a little bit to uh, cut up some cardboard. Uh, I've used it to cut up foam, foam board, which you know, that stuff kind of cuts weird. It's a, uh, I got a little piece of foam here, but it's kind of goes right through it. There you go, I right, butter. Um. I'll give you a little size comparison for the knife. Uh, I'll compare it to the Civivi Bow. That's a, another knife about the same size. Kind of same realm. Uh, let me clean the blade off. There you go. Next to the Civivi Bow. So there we have it. Um, it's a really well-made knife. And these run around 60 to $70 range, I believe. Um, really nice. I, re I really enjoy this blade. Um, I don't intend on keeping this only because Kaiser sent this to me and I got it with the sole intention of doing this video and then doing a giveaway on my face in my Facebook group, Knife Peasants. So shameless plug. If you want a chance at winning this knife, go join that because I'll be starting the giveaway within, I don't know. The next few days uh, and i'll probably run it to the first of the year um honest criticism of the knife and it's not really a quality issue it's more of a nitpicky kind of thing the micarta see there you go focus it's kind of fuzzy and it's not causing any major problems with the knife but as you can see i haven't oiled this or anything but every few flips, there's new fuzz that pops up on the blade, which has no effect on performance. But I suppose if you oiled this pivot, it could build up in there. Or it could just be something, some little detail that just drives you crazy. It's understandable. Um, not much of a big deal. If it bothers you so bad, it doesn't bother me. But if it bothers you, you just take a little strip of sandpaper and sand her down. But uh, 
really nice knife. Um, it's a classic design, like I said, by Kaiser. You go, you can see Feist Lundquist design. Um, back to the hardware, I forgot to mention that the pivot is a T8 and the pocket clip and body screw are a T6. So if you take this apart, make sure you have quality bits because cheaper bits will strip out on you, especially when it comes to T6. Um, T6 can be kind of tricky to get out if it's locked tight or screwed down real tight. I haven't taken this one apart, so I, I can't tell you. I tr usually don't take apart my knives unless it's just absolutely necessary. To me, the best way to uh, clean out a knife to me, if it's that super dirty, gets a little compressed there, blow it through the body, it's going to clean 90% the same as just actually taking it apart and washing it or cleaning every part. The action on this thing is actually really nice. Uh, you can see, drop smooth and a little shake, close. Opens up. Really quality piece. Um, this is not my first Kaiser. I've had several Kaisers. This is my first, and uh, that wasn't a titanium frame lock by them. Which I, they got many other knives. I'm very interested in looking into. Uh, several, several, several. Um, I also have this guy right here. This is the PPY. And I'll do a separate video on this one. This one's pretty sweet too. But, uh, oh, one more thing that I think is really cool about this knife is we all know Kaiser has good packaging. They always come in a nice box. All right, so, has your details. Right there. It said made in China. Uh, but we all know quality is about how it's made, and that's where it's made. Uh, comes, comes in this little sleeve, little baggie. Nothing different. Uh... Then I love how they package their paperwork and then you get the cleaning cloth. I mean, it's just a nice little touch. Shows that they do in fact care about their customers. Um, what's really cool about this denim knife, I don't know if every denim series is gonna come with it, but it came in the baggie, but it was in this pouch. And obviously you can say, see this is made of denim too, blue jeans. Um, we have Kaiser product denim, which this is a patch, which I think is really cool. Um, just, it's a, it's a nice touch. It looks like the back of like a pair of Levi's or Wranglers where you have the leather tag. But let's see, get this opened up. You, this ha actually has eight different slots. Um, this knife doesn't fit in the little one, but if... You could put all kinds of stuff in here. Maybe it's intended to put the rest of the denim series in. I don't know. But uh, personally, I think that's just a really nice touch that goes with the knife. And uh, if you buy this and you like blue, you like blue jeans, you're not going to be disappointed. It's a really nice feeling knife. Um, got some nice, It's got a little bit of texture. It's not super heavily textured, but... Uh, it's not going anywhere. This is a hard use knife. Obviously, there's no way to prevent your finger from sliding up in hard use. This is just a light duty around the house, around the office, whatever knife. Uh, good gentleman carry. Definitely a good gentleman carry. A little bit of jumping up top. A little bit down here by the heel of the blade. Um, it, it, it bites in a little bit. It's not the most aggressive jimping in the world, but like I said, you're not using this. For hard use scenarios, you're at most probably just cutting up an apple with this knife. Um, yeah, overall quality and uh, stick around for a few more seconds because I'm about to roll in this uh, Kaiser video for you. Thank you.